Hello everyone, welcome back to the Black Flag Essential Series Part 2. Uh, as promised in my first video, uh, in this video I would like to show, uh, we will learn how actually we can configure our network device in Black Flag. Uh, so, uh, this one I am using a Oracle a VMware Virtual Box. Uh, maybe, or maybe you are using a different one, a VMware Player or VMware Workstation. Uh, it depends on the virtual box how, how to configure network configuration. So here I have a network adapter listed uh, uh, adapter one and adapter two. Adapter two is NAT. Uh, just remember in a previous video I have, I have told you the NAT means the, all the all the IP addressing and the DHCP uh, will be configured by your virtual box. So you uh, you don't have to depend on the on your router or DHCP server, so all the IP addressing will be configured and be handled by your virtual virtual machine. So, in the first adapter one, I have a, a bridge mode, bridge mode, uh, bridge adapter, which means um, you will get a direct IP from your DHC, DHCP server. Okay, so first. Uh, when you log in to the black flag, you just need to check your whether your network interface is up or not. If the command is, um, I've config. So uh, when we type I've config, you can see our only local um, local host is up. So uh, the next command will be I've config as a. So when we give a, a I have configured as A or all, so you can see the list of the uh, network interference that you have. This one is uh, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2. So just remember the Ethernet 1 is my uh, bridge mode, and this one is in net mode. Okay, so the next thing we can we need to do is to uh, bring up the network interface and uh, assign an IP address. I config this eth one up, and we can use uh, command dh dh zero and and three on which is one. Hmm. Let's check. I think I just made some mistake here. Okay. Hmm. One three on eighty. Eighty is eighty is one. So uh, here is that this command is client three on ETS one will assign a uh, DHCP IP address to our network interface. Uh, so here is a DHCP request, the DHCP loopback, and you can already have a IP address for renewal time is this one. So this is how we can connect to a DHCP server using a command plug for uh, command this is this client three. And the next thing we uh, we need to do is uh, uh, assign our IP address manually or a static IP. We can assign how we can assign a static IP to our, uh, our network interface in a black flag. This is the first one. Just now we saw is one as a uh, auto IP that uh, was assigned by our DHCP server. So first we just bring our network interface down. Sorry, ETH mm, one down. So our network interface is a little down. Uh, let me ETH uh, one. Let me assign the IP address is one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot ten. Uh, I forgot to give up. Submitting. Submitting is 24. 
if you don't know about the subnetting you just just go on to the google and search about the uh, subnetting uh, you can find plenty of uh, information on how to do a subnetting and next thing is we need to assign a uh, default gateway to our network interface so the command would be um, route and default gateway would be 192.168.0.1 and we need to assign a DNS server so DNS server should be echo echo name server uh, we just assign a Google DNS server uh, this is Greater than this is less so v dot co so uh, uh we just assign an IP may not static IP so I think it is one so you can see the IP address is already the we assign one and the previous one uh, you can see the IP address was 102 which was assigned by our DHCP server and now you can see is the IP address is 10 and submitting is 255.255.255.0 so let us test our connection whether we have an internet connection or not so the command would be ping So it can already ping the Google Google.com, which means we have a connectivity to the internet. And the I would like to show you another one thing is uh, we have another interface which is uh, which is ETH2. Um, okay, ETH2. Up. I remember this is the uh, this one and in um, this interface we have uh, assign a net net connection in the uh, virtual box. So just let's assign a um, on ETH two. So here you can see a different uh, IP assign is. IP assign is 10.0.3.15, uh, which is the IP assigned by a virtual box itself, not the DHCP server. So um, I think um, that's all for this video. Uh, on the next video, uh, I'll show you on how we can uh, configure a um, wireless connection in a black track. So that's all for this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.